So we're going to give this thing another minute and then we're going to try to kick it. But when I started up the filming, I noticed that it was it was uh, starting and stopping and starting and stopping. So we might have a bit of a technical problem tonight, you know. And that's the thing about live performances. Is everything that can go wrong will go wrong. And I suppose mm -hmm. technically we probably should have called off the event, but I want to see if we could work around it because we still have all the stuff. We've got the holes up there. We can work around it. We'll see how it goes, you know, but we might have to invoke, you know, your imagination tonight and we'll see how that works out, you know? All right. Let's see. All right. Oh, but you know what though? You know, without having, if we don't have it, we won't have a scoring system. That could be interesting because we might have to go by emojis. That could be fun. Yeah. Oh. All right, Fioravante, welcome. How's it going? All right. So let's uh, let's try to see if we can get this thing going here. All right. We're well, we're at that time, so I'm kind of nervous yeah. to press this button. Let's see what happens. All right. Everybody, cross your fingers. All right. And maybe that'll help. All right. We'll use our collective will to make this work out. All right. I know we got to update this thing, but let's let's maybe it'll give us one more game. Everybody, just everybody concentrate. We all gotta believe. Here we go. See, all right, it's starting out. Wait, I got buttons. We got, is it seriously working? Speak to me, paddle. Speak to me. All right, are the bridges moving? No, they're not. Okay, hang on a second. No, no, no. It looked like it was a false alarm. The buttons aren't working. All right, we'll try this again. Yeah, let's see. I'm here. I'm here inside of disappointment. I'm disappointed too. All right, I can stand on the bridges. That's cool. We got that going for us. All right, let's see. Uh, the buttons aren't working for me yet, but it looks stable. Oh, wait, no, it just. All right, yeah, so this is definitely not working. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's, it basically, it needs to be updated, uh, in which case, uh, that's going to take some time and some doing because it's a lot of programming. Uh, but hopefully, it probably, you know, I'm, I'm, Gonna, if I work at it eh, night and day, maybe it take us about a week and we'll come back as usual. Uh, but let's try what we're gonna do now. And there might be a little bit of a glitch here. We're gonna try turning this off here for a minute. All right, oh my. there we go. And I know this is disappointing news and nobody is more disappointed than me because this, let's say. Well, MREs have pending permission requests. This is that's different. Okay, hang on a second. Let's see here. All right. Yeah, this is uh yeah, you're right. It does look that way. All right, cool. So let's see. All right, this is a little bit different. Let's see. Settings. Try to be quiet. All right, execution. Use tracking. All right, let's see here. Weird. Okay. All right, this is very odd. All right, you can bear with me, everybody. I'm you know, apologies here for this because it's not working here. Uh, okay, so let's take this down for a moment here. Like the okay. barrier reef. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Don't That's worry about it. <laughs> it goes much further than you think it does, sorry, but sorry, it's cool. <laughs> Don't be. It's fun. All right, everybody. Uh, for those of you, who... what you say? I said you're working very hard at this, and it's great. Keep it up. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. Is this your first time here, Orenx? Orenx? How do I say your name? Okay. All right. For those of you that call me Oren. Oren. Okay. Cool. All right. Now, for those of you who have never been here before, what this normally is is the interactive game show type of event where we give away prizes. We're still going to try to. If you'd like to know what we're giving away, you can actually see it in the lobby. On the, there's a sign out there that has all 12 items listed out there. Um, let's see. But uh, we normally have uh, you know uh, these bridges moving, and we have these sharks come up. And we have contestants come up on top here, and we're going to try to work around it. Uh, but, you know, uh, before we do, like I said, the program is going to need to be updated. Uh, the life of mistakes is kind of unknown right now, so we're not exactly happy about it. But, uh, you know, we didn't want to just, like, cancel the event. You know, we know people look forward to this, and I want a chance to play everybody that we just need to do some maintenance, and hopefully everything will come back to ever. We also do have some neat new stuff coming. Uh, I can't talk about it too much, but know that we will be moving to a set probably in about a month. 
uh, and the way the game works is going to change slightly, and the way the set behaves is going to change a lot. Uh, we're going to do something that we don't think has ever been done before in all space. Uh, and if before we set out, what I'm going to do, all right, because again, we will try it on the show without the special effects uh, and see if that works. But you're going to notice that a raise hand button just appeared in the lower right. All right. Now, uh, I like to look at problems as opportunities, and maybe we can use this as an opportunity for a chance to, you know, if you guys to ask questions about the show or anything like that. Those of you who have been way here before, you wonder how we do certain stuff, now's your chance. All right. So if you press that raise hand button, let's just uh, see if we can take a couple questions before we start out. All right, let's see, we got, uh, let's see, we got Queen Goddess. Queen Goddess, you have a question? Okay. No. No? Okay. No cool. question. All right, you were raising your hand to be on the show then? I was too eager. I wanted to redeem myself. <laughs> you want to redeem yourself. Okay. Let's see, Oren, you have a question? What's up? <laughs> so, are uh, you're a moderator? With, no, with I'm the host. Here that built the game? The company? Wait a minute. What company? I built what game? Well, we're in a game? Well, the creators of, of Altspace. No, I don't work for Allspace in any capacity. I'm only a volunteer, uh, and I started out, uh, you know, moderating events for the Allspace VR 101. I went on to host them for about a year, and then we started hosting our own events, uh, and we, which led to this. This was supposed to be, and still is, a, a combination of world building, event hosting, and scripting. But the thing that runs the script isn't working tonight. So I'm going to start out with a couple questions, and then we'll try to do, like, an example of how the game is typically played. But keep in mind, you won't be seeing the special effects tonight, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, okay. And, I, you know, I, actually, I'm not even quite sure how we're going to get people on the stage. So this could be interesting. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that, we have that disabled. All right. Let's see. We have uh, HTN9. HTN9, you out All there? Right. You, go, you have a question? Right here. What's right, up? I've got a couple of things to say. A. What's that? Cool shark. A. Well, sharks, sharks, thank you. We like them. Uh, second, so is this like a, a game show, sort of? It is. Well, let me explain what normally happens. What happens is we uh, we have some music that plays, right, in the very beginning. We go up there. I jump off from the top there and uh, go through an introduction. And after that, there's three sharks that appear in these tubes. They swim up with a bubble sound effect, right? And everyone's all very impressed because the set's moving, right? You know, so everybody's very impressed. And then what happens is, uh, you know, these bridges pull back uh, and they extend. And then we uh, we get some volunteers from the audience to come on up. And these the bridges will extend on out, right? And then what will happen is people will go up top and stand on these platforms and they'll answer questions. Now, the questions are designed to be silly. Uh, they're also designed to stump the you know the volunteers uh, to throw them off, and what will happen is they'll do their best to answer and win over the audience. And the answers themselves don't matter. All that matters is that they can convince our audience that they deserve to live more than the person next to them. That's it. Let's see, we got some music going on. Yeah, from, I'm who in is that? some kind of. It... Oh, this would be good. Hang on a second. Let's see here, Katie's in some kind of something. You know, <laughs> see, I think she got muted, but I actually want to hear this. Let's see. All right. Let's see. Everything okay, Katie? The real world you're talking to. <laughs> let's see. No, she got muted. We, we, well, let's wait and find out. You know. All right, now let me ask you guys. Uh, those of you who have been here before, do you think it's worth trying to do this without the special effects? Sure. Try it, yeah. Go for it. All right, I'm hearing Milkman yeah, saying go no. for it. I'm seeing Matt throwing up some applause. All right, yeah, you know what? Let's just go for it because we'll still be able to give away prizes. That's cool, right? You know, and uh, hopefully we'll have our effects by uh, by the next show or by next week. Uh, what's up, HTN? What do you got? So how do we go on? become an, uh, a contestant? That's a really good question. Normally what you do is uh, <laughs> click on the nose of my friend and co-host Sharky. He's usually floating in the water at this point, and you enter your old space username in there. But since Sharky didn't just say, you know, didn't show up today, no, because the thing's not working. He's not here right yeah. now. It's sad. Uh, so what we can do is, uh, Mrs. Producer, do you think you can give me like a bridge or a box or some way to get people up here? You know, oh, clever. possibly. Okay. All right. Yeah. You know, possibly. Yeah, that that might work. Uh, because what we'll do is we'll try to work around that. The first problem being that we don't have bridges. Uh, the second problem is we normally have these uh, tubes that come up, but we're going to have to use the honor system tonight where people will kind of stand, you know, up here and kind of jump into the ocean, right? You know, they'll just jump in if if, if, if it doesn't go their way, you know, so that could that, that could possibly work, uh, you know, and then again, hopefully we'll have the special effects back by next week, because the reason that they're not working now, we did have a problem a couple of days ago, with one of our other programs. Uh, so this isn't like a total surprise. It just means that we need to, you know, update the program and hopefully that won't be too involved in the process. Hopefully it'll be nice and smooth. But uh, the last time we tried it, it went badly. All right. It looks like we got a cube forming in the water here. 
in the water, it looks kind of like an ice cube. It does. You know? So it, it'll be a chill show tonight. You know? All right, everybody. Now, who wants to uh, take take their uh, take a chance at winning the prize today? All right, let's see. We've got uh, we've got Fudge Man, we've got HTN, and we've got Queen Goddess, who's been on the show before, and we'll give them a try. All right. Now, let's see. Uh, let's see. We're going to have to wait for this to get big enough. Yeah. Now, this is going to be slightly dangerous, and we're probably not insured for this. All right, because we do got like sharks going <laughs> through here still. Um, let's see. When do, now, how about Mrs. Producer? You just tell me when it's done, okay? When you think it's safe, and we'll give it an attempt. We'll try it. Can you teleport on this thing? Yes, you can. All right. Whoa. Okay. Well, that's that's getting kind of scary. Don't drop me, Mrs. Producer. Whatever you do. All right. I don't have my flight on. This could be really bad. All right. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go stand in the audience for a minute. I think. You know that could be bad. All right. Cool. You know. So things are going a little bit weird tonight. Yeah, and you know it's funny though. You know, in in all space or, or pretty much anywhere, whenever you have a live performance, anything can go wrong. This is probably the worst that we've had. You know, in terms of things not working the right way. Oh, she actually managed to change the color. It was very thoughtful. <laughs> uh, you know, they're changing oh, the color God. of the cube. No, no, don't worry about it. Oh, look. Well, at least that works. You know, you can jump off of it. That that's so that's a start. Let's see here. Sorry. <laughs> Right, no, don't be sorry. We're learning together. This is great. <laughs> we're going to work it out, you know, because now we're going to answer the question, you know. There are people, well, thank you. Well, you seem nice too, HDN. But, you know, there. You know, for anyone that says, you know, that the only thing we got going us for, you know, at Shark Time is our special effects, we're about to find out. <laughs> okay? So let's see. All right. Now the, the, the cube is crooked. You know, no, no pressure, Morgan. We just want to make it so that we can cross it. Yeah, Morgan's my producer. We're going to see if this works. Yeah. See, if, let's see if this is going to happen or not. Hmm. Yeah. Speed building, no pressure. All right, let's see. You can teleport onto it. Can you get on the stage that way? You can. All right, cool. So that'll work. All right, so uh, let's see here. What we have here, when we get that uh, finished up, is we have coming up, we're going to have, uh, let's see, HTN. Uh, let's see. We'll, we'll, we're going to have to actually ask it again. Let's see. What we're gonna raise, if you want to be on the show, raise your hand. This way we'll get you on megaphone. Let's see here. All right, HTN, press that raise hand button in your lower right. And we'll get you on. All right. Uh, Queen, we already said, could be on. So we're going to give her access. Uh, we've got Fudge Man and we've got HTN. All right. So let's give her, you guys a try. Another way we're going to do this is let's see if you can make it up onto the stage. Try crossing this bridge if you can. All right. There we go. We got Queen. We got Fudge Man. Okay. You guys made it. All right. Cool. Now let's take a moment to get to know you all before we start out. And remember, this show is a little bit different than we normally run it. We normally have sharks here, you know, and uh, we normally have these platforms up here. So we're going to do things a little bit differently. Um, let will start out with you. HTN, this is your first time here, right? Yes, it is. And what do you think of our disaster so far? <laughs> I think as far as disasters go, this is the coolest one I've been to. Oh, you haven't seen it. Now look, look behind you. They can't even see us right now. <laughs> you don't call that a disaster. All right, that freaked me I out. do. Yeah, that, yeah, I don't think that's a disaster. I think that's just learning. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna have to move this. This is this is this is gonna detract. Okay. I think from the overall performance. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Also, we have Fudge Man. Fudge Man, how long have you been around all space before? What your mic cut out for me? Your mic cut out. Did my mic cut out for everybody? No. Uh, not no. for me. Not no. for you. It might just be you, Fudge Man. All right. Now, I remember you saying that once before, actually. You know, can you hear me now? I hear you now. You hear me now. All right. That's awesome. How long have you been around Allspace for? Uh, a few months. A few months. And uh, have you been to the show before, right? I went here, but I think my Oculus crashed while I was recording. Oh, okay. So you didn't, you didn't necessarily see the whole shark thing. Okay, cool. All right. Now, Queen, you've been on the show before, right? And how did you like it when everything was? How do you how do you like it when everything was working? Uh, it was amazing. I, um, it was amazing. That got was overrated, but I enjoyed. Yeah, you were you were nervous, and we're gonna we're gonna push that limit. But this time there won't be any shark below you that you can see. All right. But I think the way we're gonna work this is if everybody would come up top with me, we're gonna come on up this way here, right? And we're gonna have you guys stand up. All right. Now, what you guys are going to do is stand up in the back here above this hole, right? Each one of you in front of your own unique hole there, right? And we're going to do this in kind of an honor system, all right? If the audience doesn't vote for you, what you're going to do is very willingly throw yourself into the ocean. Okay. Right? And, then, and then you have a chance to swim to the surface or maybe the sharks will find you, all right, Ooh. if they ever show up, right? And that's how we're going to do it, I think. And uh, you know, once we can get this going again, hopefully this will be working either next show or next week. All right. So let's put 
point. Now, the way this uh, is going to work is we're going to ask you all questions. I'm not going to move into the audience a little bit so I can see you better. Um, we're going to ask questions, and the answers don't have to be right. They just need to convince our audience which one, you know, which is the winner, which one answer the best. And we'll do it by emojis. So if you happen to notice in your menu, there's a pink cheap violet face right in there. When you put that, your emoji panel opens up. What we'll do is we'll use like smiles to vote and we'll use like frowns and we'll get everyone's opinion and then we'll decide, you know, who's our winner based on that. Okay. And we'll try to keep track of that somehow. And it won't be confusing at all. It'll, it'll just work out. <laughs> all right. Let's see here. All right. Let's start out with uh, HTN9. Are you ready? Uh, ready as I'll ever be. All right. Now we're going to have, uh, let's see, we're going to be getting our first round here. Normally what you'll see is a panel that says round one here, but we're not going to have that today. So we're going to work around that. Uh, all right. So HTN. Uh, let's see, HCN9 or was it HCN1? Well, I, I did not remember that. Just HCN9. call me H. Okay, cool. H. Okay, we're going to call him H. That's easy. Good. All right, so let's see here. Uh, today's question, all right, we're going to start out with, you see out in the distance, we've got the structure over there? That's the Ravenhall Sea Lab. We do a lot of important science and research over there, right? And our lead researcher, mm -hmm. Dr. Starling, has designed a vehicle that can go, go can travel at the speed of light. It's amazing. It's, it's fantastic. And I looked over the schematics of this thing, and it turns out it has headlights on the very front of it. And that's mm. kind of weird, right? <laughs> uh, and I was wondering. Because if you go on the speed of light, happen... that's not going to. Exactly. Show up. Exactly. So that's what we're wondering, H. We're wondering okay. what will happen if you're traveling at the speed of light and suddenly turn these headlights on. What do you think? What do well, you think will happen? Let's see. Well, first off, if you're going the speed of light, as you go the speed of light, you will be technically traveling forward into the into the time. You know, you'll be going forward in time. So, okay. and the second you stop going, you stop. You stop your wherever okay. you're at. You, if you start in 1950, okay. you could be in 2010. So, okay. I'm assuming since nobody's really done that, we don't really know what it looks like that way. It could just be a giant white tube. But okay. I'm thinking it's not going to matter because as you're driving. You're going to be freaking out over the fact that, hey, you're going forward in the future. I don't think it matters. Okay. Okay. Now, why is it me? Why is it what? what? You, you said I would be freaking out that I'd be going at the speed of light. Why I am think I anybody would like be... to do this? Well, anybody I anybody would freak I think, out. I think you would I'm be my... going. I think you oh, might yeah, be. You think so? Okay. Yeah. Well, Mr. Producer would know. <laughs> All right. Queen Goddess, let me <laughs> ask you. What do you think will happen if this vehicle is moving at the speed of light and they turn on the headlights? Mm. Mm, that's a phenomenal question. Have you ever seen the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory with Gene Wilder? I have, but I'm getting worried about copyright infringements. Okay, that's fair. Um, okay. I'm just going to say that if you um, are going fast in the speed of light and you turn on your headlights, you're going to have yeah. that super mad acid trippy situation that happened when they went from Augusta's Gloop drowning in the chocolate to that tunnel, which okay. like we don't really know what the fuck happened because I'm still traumatized yeah. as a child. So that's what I okay. think is going to happen. Okay. So you think it'll be this whole trippy, you know, light wave type thing that happened. Okay. Absolutely. All right, now acid now, all Man, the way. Let, let me ask you, what do you think is going to happen if we turn on the headlights while moving at the speed of light? What do, what do you think will happen? I think it will not be visible for you to see since you're going so fast for yeah. anyone else. They'll be blinded. Be blinded. Mm -hmm. That's actually a really good answer. Okay, I like that. All right, <laughs> let's find out. Now, show me some emojis. Who here liked Fudge Man's answer? All right, throw me some smiley faces if you think he's good. Let me see. All right, that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay? We got five. All right, let's see. Now, uh, Queen Goddess, answer. Who liked Queen Goddess's answer? All right, let's see. We got D over there with a smile. We got, let's see, we've got Nisha and we've got the oh, one heavens. also. All right, so that's three. Okay, so all right, now we also have oh, HTN9. Okay. Who liked HTN9's answer? All right, Courtney oh, and Matt. All right, and also uh, Alpha B yeah, and Sly Fox. All right, so it looks like it's pretty evenly split between HTN and Queen. All right, let's do this another way because I lost count. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see. This this is a lot harder without the program, people. I think All everybody. Right, let's see here. I think everybody wins tonight. What What do you think? Everybody wins. That doesn't seem right. I like that idea. You know? <laughs> I'm I'm All right. for it. Well, you know what? Let's. You know what we'll do? We'll go for one overall winner. I guess. No, maybe maybe that's not. Well, that might not work. Let's see. All right. Tell you what. 
Everybody, everybody <laughs> that, that wants Fudge Man to, to remain into round two, put your hands up. Would you like to Let me see. All right, we got one person for Fudge Man. All right. Okay, let's see. Now, how many are Queen Goddess? Put your hands up for Queen Goddess. Let me see. All right, not too many. All right, how many for HTN? For H. Hands up. All right, a lot more for H. Okay, so H gets to stay to round two. Uh, and it looks like, all right, so now we got between Queen and Fudge Man. All right, so you see both hands go up like this for Fudge Man. We're keeping Fudge Man. All right, now for Queen. Let me see for Queen. All right, uh, Fudge, the people have spoken. I think you need to throw yourself in the ocean. Can you do that for me? There we go. Ah, nice. screamed on the way out like a professional. That was good great. Job. All right, well, the good news is we have an opening. Would anyone else like to come up and try to uh, try to win a prize? Prize kit? Hand up if you want to be on the show. Let me say it. Anybody? All right. Well, you know what? I can't say I blame you. Things aren't working tonight. Our sharks didn't show up. Our program's not working. All right, so we can roll out with the two that we have. We'll just go. What about that. Fiora Vante? See Fiora Vante. Oh, no pressure. You know, Fiora Vante, is <laughs> you able to play tonight? All right. Come on okay. up. All right, now Fiora Vante's played the show before. Uh, do me a favor and press that raise hand button. There. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, just press that teleport button, the top button on your controller. Teleport right onto the cube. That should step you up. Let's see. Uh, you know what you do? Uh, press that raise hand button on your lower right. And let's let's get, make sure you have the access here. All right, let's see. All right, looks like you're cleared. Okay, good. All right, so go ahead and and teleport onto this black cube here. That on your. See your right thumbstick, that top button there? Just aim right there. Yeah. Well, we got some music from The Good Life. Yeah, that's good because our band quit tonight. All right. You're not able to teleport at all. I'm not. Good luck. On, on your right control, the top luck. button. <laughs> hold it down. You'll, you'll see a circle appear right on top of there. See that? All right. Now let go of the button. Not happening. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening when you let go. Oh, okay. Uh, Mrs. Producer, could I, you? Oh, there we go. There we go. We got it. I we pressed the wrong button. That, that was Fudge Man. Fudge Man, give me, give me a fist bump, man. You saved the day. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. You saved the day. Okay. So we'll do the whole step up method. Now I want to try that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it works. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, Fioravante, where are you going? too bad this game doesn't have a middle finger. Up. Come on back down here so everybody can get to know you. Just need to, just need to re raise the hand and we'll be all set. Yeah, re-raise the hand so we can we can hear you. All right, let's see. I see people walking up there. All right, let's see. There's three people there now. Good life. Uh, I'm not quite sure how you got up there. Let's see here. Uh, okay, we didn't call you Good Life, but you're up there. You want to be on the show, Good Life? You do. All right. Are you able to talk? Oh, you disappeared. Okay. Well, you know what? Spooky. That's kind of weird. Okay, so let's see. Fiorvante, now you've been on the show before. Is it normally like this? Oh, yeah. Huh? Is it normally like this? Oh, you no, can't no. hear me. It's oh, no. Can you guys hear me? Organized. It's I much can. more organized than this. Yes, okay, so I it's can not hear you. Like what is it normally like? Describe it for us. Really fun. You feel like you're on a real game show. And um, mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of Melvin, as everybody knows. You yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> And I, yeah, I missed true. him tonight. He's the real reason I came. <laughs> well, you know what? Got a treat for you. The next question is going to be about <laughs> Melvin. Right? About Melvin. Let me ask you, yes, it's true. Let me ask you this, though. All right, so you've been on the show sure. before. It's normally not like this. Do you think we can fix it? Oh, yeah. You do? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. All right, so come on up. No doubt. Let's go and get up. Let's get up here. All right. Now, you're going to stand up over, let's see, right over in the back over here. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do the honor system and, and, and see if this will work out. Yeah, I know it's a little it's a little bit scarier in a way. I mean, like, kind of is. <laughs> you know, just feels a little more dangerous somehow. It does. Yeah, you know, it mm -hmm. does. It's kind of weird. Okay. Oh, All right. Let's see how we're going. All right. So let's open start out with you, Fioravante. All right. Let's start <laughs> out with you. We're gonna start okay. out with you, Fioravante. All right. And let's okay, see. Okay. No here. pressure. Uh, let's see now. <laughs> now, when Melvin was a young shark, when Melvin was very small. Uh, his friends, you know, they used to dare each other to see how far they can get, you know, to the beach. They'd swim real close to it, and they'd pull back at the last second. And it didn't go well one day, 
And Melvin ended up on the beach. All right. It was looking oh, pretty no. bad. You know, he was just oh, a few feet away from the ocean, you know, and it was looking like it was going to end well when I happened along. Right? I happened to be on vacation at St. Martin in the Caribbean. And, you know, I happened upon <laughs> Melvin there and I helped him out and I made a new friend in the process. But that's how I met Melvin. Right. And let me ask you about a time in your life when a good dare went bad. Oh, 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 OK. I have one. Well, okay. let's, let's hear it. when I was a little girl, I lived in the woods, way out in the woods, me and a, and a, a couple other families. I guess you could kind of like bunch of hippies on the hill in the, in the woods. <laughs> and okay. um, we used to play me and a bunch of the kids that live next door used to play. And there was this big tree. And mm. um, we decided that we were going to climb that tree and okay. we were cr- and um yeah needless to say it did not go very well um i was dared to do it and there was a little nub that stuck out of the tree kind of like a bump oh. and i was Every- up there probably about a good god 15 feet in the air sitting on okay. that nub screaming bloody murder on the top of my lungs for someone to take save me take 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 us there what did it sound like I can't scream. Oh, daddy! <laughs> uh, yeah. So okay. anyway, right, good. Uh, I, I, I was really screaming for my. Yeah. <laughs> I was screaming for my daddy to come save me, and okay. it was just me and a couple of these other kids who were on the ground because they were the darers and I was the dare e. And okay. um, I'm up there. I don't know how the heck I'm going to get down. And um, okay. yeah, um, they they left me to go get help but at that time i felt like they had abandoned me and i was going to die up there and with the squirrels mm, that's not good. That's and not good. Um, finally they got back and my dad my dad had to come and bring a big ladder and, pu- and put it up against the side of the tree and climb up and get me down and okay. i was in big big trouble that day it was like i was Uh-oh. very happy not to be dead but i was not okay. allowed to do much for a very long time but okay yeah i will remember clinging to that tree for a very long time. Right. I don't think now, I'll ever forget Queen, it. It was very scary. <laughs> Queen, let me ask you, were you transported by Fiorvante's story? Was I what? Transported. Did you feel like you were there? <laughs> um, yeah, I could have been on the tree looking up at her. Yeah, shaking was it a magical head, experience? Before. Shaking my head. Um, it was stupidity. traumatic for her. Traumatic, and so traumatic, I felt yeah. her trauma. I'm an empath, yeah. so I felt the traumatic okay. emotions she had. So, okay, how about you? How, how was t- tell us about a time when a good dare went bad. Um, I don't know if this was a good dare, to be honest with you, but it was a dare, and it went really bad. So, um, really side note, we're gonna make a pit stop and some sappy shit, and then we're gonna keep going. So, in real life, I'm an amputee okay. from cancer. Happened when I was two years old. So, I'm 29. I grew up walking on a prosthetic, and so Ooh, okay. one year. Uh, how old was I? I was maybe 10 years old. My grandmother took us to the beach and mm-hmm. I'm not quite really sure what happened, but my siblings were just like, you know, prosthetics are made out of water. I mean, are made out of metal, metal and water equals rust. The two do not compute. Uh, my siblings okay. dared me to go on Lake Michigan anyway. It was like, Christina, just be great. You should just go. You can walk. So I was like, you're right. Let me do it. So I went in the deep as the, oh, the lake as Michigan as possible. I had a great time. But when I came out, my leg fell apart. It oh, was total okay. rubbish. And I oh. could not oh, wow. walk. And someone wow. had to like literally like scoop me up and like carry me to my oh. grandmother's car. And my leg was ruined for the entire for the rest of the trip, which was fine because like insurance and that leg was really cheap. So it was a very quick fix. But yeah, right. me breaking my leg, um, my prosthetic leg. <laughs> it's still broke. It's still broke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know. Okay. Yeah. It was still a leg break, everybody. I think I think it counts. All right, let's see. <laughs> How about you? Yeah. Yes. Tell us about a time in your life when a good dare went bad. Well, uh, to be honest, after going after these two <laughs> lovely ladies, I, uh, I yeah, feel a, uh, tough act to follow. a little weird telling mine, but okay. I'll go on with it. Anyway. Right. Let's hear it. Back in high school when I was a senior, I had this really, really stupid friend. Okay. And we've all had friends that had ways. Yeah. Yes. And, yes. and prom was shirts. coming up. Cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, prom was coming up, right? So yeah. he went to me. He was like, hey, I dare you 
to find a date to prom, but the only way you can ask them is by act is by acting like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> throwing like get fake over throwing here. a spear at them. Yes, and screaming, "Get over here!" Get over right, here. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Did um That's... did you find that this particular approach improved your dating life? <laughs> well, to be honest, uh, my dating life was pretty much non-existent up to that point. Mm, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and no, it to be afterwards. Technique. <laughs> well, I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. I don't right, recommend so it. We've gotten to know our contestants, <laughs> our volunteers here. All right. We've gotten to know them fairly well, I think. All right. And again, if you're here for the first time, this isn't normally how the show goes, but our program isn't working properly and we're working around it. All right. So uh, let's see. Now, let me see everybody's hands go up if you liked Fioravante's answer. All right. Put your hands up if you liked Fioravante's story. All right, we got Milkman in the back. We've got uh, Alpha B, so that's two. Maybe my producer can help me keep track of this. Yeah, All right, now let's see. Now we have, we have Queen Goddess. Wait, what's that, Mr. Producer? So I heard three. a wait. Three. Okay, so we got three. All right, now uh, let's see. Queen Goddess. Who like Queen Goddess's story? Put your hands up if you like Queen Goddess's story. Let's see. If you don't have oh. hands in your 2D, you can give me an emoji. Well, where? Nobody? Or we got one. All right, L LD oh, kind of I... you know, hand up there. Uh, hummingbird, so that's two. Anybody else? I see three. I see three. Three. You see three. Okay, Mr. Producer sees three. It's got to be three. All right, so we got three and three. And now, how about Adria's story? Anybody? All right, we got Fudge Man and we got Courtney. Put the hands went up there. And we got Matt. So that's three, three, and three. All right, I don't know how we're going to keep track of this. Three, three, like and three. Like I said, three. everybody win. Everybody It looks win. like, yeah, it's going. All right, so we're going to move on to our third round and see how we do. All right, let's see. Um... Okay, so uh, let's see here. So let's start out with uh, with H. H, we're going to start out down by you. Are you ready for your question? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, cool. All right, now let's see here. Now, uh, not that we're working on this at all, but let's say that we were reverse engineered all space teleporters, right? And you were oh. able to, you know, we had them in the real world, right? And you're able to place them in two locations where, you know, so you back and forth between them mm. where would you put them and why h where would you put okay. them and why first some clarification are you saying putting up a, a portal from in here to the real world no 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 we, we, okay. we basically okay. reverse engineer the portal right and now you'd have two mm -hmm. of these portals and they'd be linked together right you could put them in two locations anywhere in the real world where would you put them and why oh huh well mm. i mean that's, that's easy that's easy um obviously first would be my house obviously mm -hmm. and uh second would be the bathroom of a golden corral that way i can teleport <laughs> okay. in say i've already paid for my ticket and get a bunch of free food and take it home and i'm good okay i have a question um, though I, I i have a question <laughs> about this i have an answer what happens if somebody is there like another customer and they go in to use the restroom and they find your magical okay. portal and they walk into it and they're now they're in your living room how do you handle that okay okay well <laughs> I'm going to you come over here for this next scenario. So can okay. you be like a... I can do that. Okay, okay. I can do that. So I'm going to okay, go both cool. ways. If somebody sees me teleporting in and if they teleport in. First, if they okay. teleport into my living room, I will have the teleporter in a cage, right? And there's going to be some food on the walls and they're not allowed to leave. Uh, <laughs> okay. Some water. Uh, they're going to be my prisoner. They they're going to do my laundry. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Can't they uh, no, 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 they can't. The no, no, no. See, I'm going to have the right. teleporter set up to where once you teleport really in, you this. fall into the cage, right? I see. Mm, you fall into okay. it. That way you can't, like, get back in it. And okay. if I teleport in and somebody sees it, I will simply do this. Okay. Uh, whoa. Okay. How about that? Look, every saw that. Wow. He That's touched my magic. nose and I'm in the audience. You know, actually, no, I, kinda, <laughs> I, I suspected that was coming. All right, cool. All right, that counts as an answer. All right. Now, Queen, let me ask you, if you could set up two teleporters anywhere on Earth, and, you know, they were linked, you can go back and forth, where would you put them and why? Mm -hmm. um, I would put them, so one very bad answer would honestly be my job, only because it saved me transit. Uh, save me with public huh? transportation going to work every day but the second would actually be airport past tsa behind like i don't know like a popcorn or something because i could just go from work getting paid straight to the airport and just loading planes like i could just get on the planes and just travel not my problem and just go back okay. and forth between work and well, airport wait a minute, wait a minute, airplane wait a terminals you realize you wouldn't need a plane anymore you have a teleportation system 
Yeah, but there's more places at once. So like the teleport only gives me two, right? But I want access yeah. to more than two locations. I want to go more than just one special place. So if well, I go to the what? airport, as, as the person, that just opens it all to me. Yeah, but as the person <laughs> who came up with the question, I thought about this myself. Like when I come up with the questions, I think, how would I answer them, right? And what I came up with on this one was I would actually FedEx the teleporter wherever I wanted to go. That's smart. I, I know. I know. I, I'm smart. I don't, get, I don't get to answer the That's questions. That's smart. Only, you know. All right, Fioravante, where would you set these things up and why? Um, I'm going to have one set up obviously in my home, and okay. um, the other one, I think um, in Hawaii. That way I can just go Hawaii. whenever I want. I, I like Hawaii. It's, you know, you got the fire dancing, the good drinks, the beach. Okay. I wouldn't have to pay for hotels because I can just trans when I'm done enjoying the things that I'm enjoying, I could just transport myself right back to my house and go to bed. And it'd be like there you go. Just having a vacation whenever I felt like it. I could go watch the okay. shows. I could swim. I could swim. I could surf. I could cool. do all those things all that right. I love to do. And I like that. Want some real good answers here, Glenn. All right. So, you, how many of you like Fioravante's answer? If you did, put your hands up like this. Let me see. Let me see. We got one, two, uh, three. All right. So, I got three out there. All right. Let's see. Mrs. Producer, you got that? We got three? All right. Three. Check. All right. All right. Cool. Now, Queen Goddess. How many people like Queen Goddess's answer? Put your hands up like this. Let me see. Let me see. No Anybody? love. Nobody. Oof, I like rough. my answer. That's right. Wait, wait, wait. We got one in the back. Hummingbird. I raised right, my so hand. We got one there. Thank right. you. I raised you my hand too. Vote. Yeah. You're a contestant. Oh, you didn't you say can't that. Vote. You didn't, didn't say, say that. that. You're right. You're right. I didn't say that. You know what? And I voted getting... for myself, so that's three. We're... All right. Okay. Come on. You know what? Today we're breaking all the rules. I'll allow it. All right. So we got three and three. Right? Did I get that right? Mr. Can I also make a quick clarification on uh, my my quick answer? Clarification. Okay, cool. We're, we're into it. What's okay. up? Okay, I would like to prove all of your threes' answers completely pointless. Because you see, okay. with mine, with Golden Corral, wow. I can take the food home, start my own business, deliver that food to other people, <laughs> make millions, fly wherever I want, I can go to work whenever I want, and I don't have to worry about FedEx because I can fly myself anywhere because I am making Golden Corral money. But you do you have... Oh yeah. F, do you have certificates to sell food? Do you have food license? Oh, yeah. That is a small thing. Do that. that. I don't have to do that. Do really the Girl point. Scouts? Right, do the Girl Scouts? Like they H's they go to Kroger. Put they, your hands mm. up if you like H's answer. They Let's have say. licenses. One, that was a good one though. Three, four. Out. Had a All right, fan. four. Okay, <laughs> so here's how we're going to work this. It looks like H has the highest answer, but because of all the technical problems and all of you have been great sports about the whole thing, I think Miss Producer's right. We're going to give the prizes out to everybody tonight. All right, but what we're going to do is normally we give out a Raven Hall Events coffee mug and a 12-piece world building uh, aquarium themed world building kit. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to give both of those prizes to H. Right, and we're going to give the aquarium themed a world building kit to Fioravante and to Queen Goddess both. I think that's oh, the fairest thing to you. do. All right. Yay. And now hopefully, listen, I yes. want to thank everybody Winners. that showed up and stuck it out. I want to thank you for your patience tonight. High five. All right. Things the often, you know, oh. sometimes <laughs> go wrong and hopefully we'll get this, this thing going this and well. fixed. This what was well. that, uh, Mr. Uh, Bruce? I hope I can question? Make Still Good question. Mike. What about our first yeah. round survival? Yeah. Our first round, uh, jumper? Oh yeah, our first round. Fudge Man. Well, let's leave it to our audience. Should we give Fudge Man a prize too? Yes. 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 Go Fudge Man. Right, well, Fudge Can I man, jump? You're going to be a winner Love too. For Fudge man. All right. So we're going to be giving I... uh, 12 piece world building kits to all of you. All right. I want to thank you oh, all thank for coming you. tonight. I want to thank you all for your patience because, uh, and hopefully we'll get things working in time for the next show. All right. Can I jump? So thank you everybody for coming. Uh, if anyone would like to come and too. check out the uh, world building uh, kit prices that we give away, you can come on up to the stage. I'm going to open up the blocker so you can make it up. All right. Can we Get jump carefully? Because it's a little bit. I, yeah, I think. Jump I think, on down. I think so. Maybe on the I think we, three, should, right? we should scream. Yeah, yeah. Jump yes. down and scream all together. Well, Let's see that. All right. Let's do that. One. I'm doing it too. You guys want to count wait, us wait, down? Wait I want to do it too. I want to do Does it. Does the audience want to count us down? None. Yeah, everybody out in the audience, count us down. Ready? Everybody. Ten, oh, whoa. Whoops, I cheated. Nine, <laughs> nine eight, 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 seven, six, six, six five, five, four, four three, three, two, three, two, one. one. Hey, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, that was rough. All right, everybody. I want to thank you all for coming out tonight. I know it was a little bit crazy and different the way we normally do it, but I think we still have managed to have some fun. All right. So if everybody would uh, would like to check out the prizes that we give away, just come on up to the stage here if you can make it. And then you'll see at the top of this ramp we have a teleporter set up. Just walk into that teleporter. You won't end up in that restaurant or the, with a, you know, before that H was talking about. You'll end up to see our prize building kit. And uh, so come on out and check that out. All right. Let's head on over there. Thank Are you all we for taking coming. A and hopefully we'll have to expect by next time. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. We normally take pictures of our winners, right? And we put it on our Twitter. So if everybody that won, let's see, we've got Fudge Man, we've got Fioravante, oh Queen, and H. If you could stand over here by this ramp over here, right, like this, and put your hands up, let's get a picture of everybody. All right. And just the ones that were in the show. Here we go. All right. Let's see. Now get kind of close together. All right. And everybody put your hands up. All right. All right, Fudge, stop Whoa. moving. Everybody put your hands up there. All right. Like you celebrate. All right. Three, oh, no. two, one, yell out shark time. Shark time. Shark time. Shark time. Shark time. Shark time. Wait, a, wait a minute. We're going to have to take this again because we were about hiding behind Queen. That's not cool. I know. All right. So, so I a little bit. All right. Now, now, nobody move. Nobody move. Just put your okay. hands up in front, on top. All right. Put your hands up. Let's see. All right. Now, we'll try this again. Three, two, one. Shark time. Shark time. Shark time. Right. Okay, cool. And everybody, thank you for coming to our disaster tonight. We're going to go out to this. this was it was not a disaster. This was the best it was amazing. disaster I've ever <laughs> seen. Amazing. We didn't have any freaking sharks this time. And that's right. I Look, there's sharks up there. You can't say there's no sharks. There's sharks flying around everywhere. Right, well, there's we well sharks, sharks, but we didn't and have well, we any sharks. And we'll be sharks. And oh, there's, sharks. Well, there's still time. sharks and blue whales. Nice little okay. hammer head. Well, there's one that eat me. us work around it. All right, I'm gonna step Will in this portal me? now. Thank you all for coming. We all stop in here.